Hey guys, it's a good day for me today. One of those days where you just feel great to use Windows 8. I mean, people have been using Windows 8 really need something going for them right now as the sales have been, you know, bombing. Um, what's made me so happy is Stardock, the original creators of the Deskapes program, which allowed you to basically replicate the Dream Scene functionality that was available in, uh, I think it was... Um, Vista Ultimate anyway they they released their own software which let you do the same thing and now they've released their version 8 which is for Windows 8 obviously, beta so as I'm a subscriber to their software anyway I thought I'd show you what it looks like here it is here and it's a very clean interface unlike their previous version in version 3 it was very cluttered when you had a lot of content in this window here that I'm showing you, it was very difficult in the older version. But um, yeah, I mean, this version's great. It lets you sort, it lets you search. Um, if you look on my desktop now, I'll just minimize it. It's just a normal image. And I can use like one of their built-in dream scenes. This one is a dynamic dream, which means it's computer generated. If I apply it to my desktop, you can see it, it looks great, it's the Earth. The difference here is the dynamic ones allow you to change some of the variables, like you can have it revolving, you can change the rotation speed, if I apply that. See it rotates a lot quicker. I don't like that actually, to be honest, it's a bit too quick. Um, another cool thing is when it's night time where you are, it actually is night time on the video as well. Um, there's also hybrid dreams and what hybrid dreams the difference is if I just show you at first it looks like it's not moving but you can see the birds if you look here you can see the little dress moving and um, the difference between this is this is actually a static image which has been animated in a certain way and you can choose various settings here as well obviously also, which is pretty cool, is you can apply these effects here. There's a lot of effects you can do. I'll just try this one. Blue colors only. I've tested this one. It looks pretty cool. If I go back, I mean, that looks pretty cool for you noir fans out there. Um, but usually, no, I don't. <laughs> um, so, uh, what else have we got? How do we get back here? Oh, click the back button. Um, there's another nice one called the Water Dream. Uh, it just let me change some settings so you can see more like what it does. And you can actually use your own images on this one if you just go to your image and choose what you want. But let me just uh, show you what this does. Pretty cool, eh? Not bad. And obviously, um, as I'm a dream scene producer myself, I thought I'd show you one or two of mine. Let's look at the old elusive man. All works, no problem. See the sun moving in the back. What else have we got? I love my Mass Effect 3. <laughs> Looks awesome, doesn't it? And it runs pretty well as well. I mean, I'm using a recording program to record the screen and the video still plays fine. I mean, obviously, if you want to mine bitcoins at the same time or something, you're going to run into trouble because it does use your GPU. I mean, but this is on a laptop. This is using a dare I say it, crappy Intel integrated graphics chip. I mean, runs it fine. But yeah, let me show you some of the other stuff. I mean, you can choose this button here and it lets you like untick things that you don't want to see. Like if I don't want to see the hybrid dreams, untick. I don't want to see the dynamics. Or you can even click the search box, which is good. So if I search something like Mass for Mass Effect 3, shows me all my dream scenes that I put up. Obviously, that's not my whole collection, but as this is a laptop, no. Anyway, I, I mean, it's something which I think is is because of the beta is this tip box. I'm sure you'd be able to like have a slideshow. You know, it'll change in a certain duration. You know, you could have this dream scene, this, this, and this, and then like cycle through them throughout the day. This is one of my favorites, by the way. It's just so peaceful. You now you can see the explosions. Anyway, enough of my dream scenes. Anyway, um, yeah. I mean, you can even apply effects, like I said before. Some of these are horrible. I mean, why anyone would want this? I don't know. But they give you the option, so why not? Paper texture. 
Okay. Can't really notice it myself, but I'll take their word for it. All right, let me uh, finally just go into the options because I'm probably boring, you know. Um, you can choose the best quality settings, full image sharpness without smoothing, you know, variations of that. To be honest, I couldn't notice any difference at all, really. I guess it's behind the scenes or it's just not implemented yet. This is a beta, by the way. Um, so let me go change that again, back to normal. Also, one thing I did notice, which is actually, um, let me find it. Oh, yeah, you can pick your folders where you search for stuff. Um, the one thing I did notice is this, this option here, pause dream when windows are maximized. This can be a problem. Um, let me just get the right dream scene so you'll be able to see what I mean. I'm starting to learn it now. I have to click the back button. Okay, let me show you this dream. Now watch. When, you, when, you want, when I minimize this, it will be paused and then it will start moving. Oh, that, that kind of destroyed me. <laughs> One second. Let me try it again. See? Yeah, there you go. It stops. And then obviously that's a battery saving kind of thing or, you know... It stops using your CPU cycles when you're playing full screen games. Um, and if you're using multiple monitors, I'm sure that would be a pain because it would stop if you were using full screen one on, just say, AutoCAD or something. I don't know. Um, they do give you the option to turn that off anyway, that feature. I mean, you can just untick this. I don't know if you have to apply it, as always do. But anyway, if you see now, if I minimize now, it's still running. I mean, just, just, like keep an eye on your programs if they run any worse because the dream will always be running in the background but anyway um that's an overview of deskscapes 8 um sorry for all the waffle <laughs> and uh yeah uh, it's a great piece of software it's currently in beta if you want to go check it out i'm sure you'll have to probably buy the original deskscapes or buy the subscription at least but it's definitely worth it i mean for those who've been who've been waiting for dreams on windows 8 like me this is a like a godsend. But anyway, boys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next video. See ya.